Hey guys, welcome back to the Bien and Medical series. It's your girl Nikki, and today we'll be talking about your first rib. So your first rib, you can feel it right under your collarbone there, and it's a very strong, strong rib. So they always say if you get a damage to your first rib, it means you you got a big, big blow, a very bad damage someone hit you really hard for you to damage this rib because it's one of the strongest rib so we're just going to look on its structure and we're just going to look on some attachment and relation to this rib so i'm going to start off with this one so here you can see this area is the anterior area the area at the front and around here is the area at the back so this is called the costal surface or the costal cartilage. This is the part that attaches to your sternum right there. And this is the one that goes around the back like that. So costal surface. And the costal surface is anterior, right? And then you can go posteriorly. You can see that you have a head, a neck, and a tubicle. So the head, neck, and tubicle is at the back. The costal surface is at the front. Then we have another little tubicle in the center that we call the scalene tubicle. So again, we have the costal cartilage. Then we go posteriorly, we have a head, neck, and a tubicle. And along the first rib, we have a lot of grooves and a lot of little areas that things are attached to. So we'll discuss that further. But a very important point to note is that to know if the rib is right side up, if you put the rib down on a flat surface, the head is supposed to touch the surface. But if you see the head is like up or it's pointing up and it's not touching the flat surface it means it's not right side up so you can use that to orientate yourself you see down and every part of the rib is touching the surface it means it's the right side up if not it's the underside up so you have to orientate yourself to know which attachment they're talking about whether it's the right side up attachment or the underside attachment so remember right side up are the correct correct way up the head and all other surfaces are touching the flat surface if not it's the other way around so now that we just introduced about the different structures and like the locations of the first rib we can basically go on to talk about the different attachments Right, so I found this beautiful picture that tells us a lot of things. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Here, it said the under surface of the first rib is smoother. So when the rib is laid on a flat surface, the head touches the flat surface when the rib is the correct way up. So that was what I was trying to explain. Head touches the flat surface when you put it down, it's the correct way up. It's a beautiful picture. So yes, remember we said we have the costal surface here. And then we go posteriorly to the head, neck, and the tubicle. And we have a scalene tubicle right here. So we can orientate ourselves. So we're going to start from the costal surface, which is the anterior, or the front part. So the anterior part right here, a little at the front, if they put a pin here, or a little pointer, or a little marker, this is the subclavius muscle. Remember, the subclavius attaches to the first rib. So here is the subclavius muscle. If they put another pin out more, you can see it's the costal clavicular ligament on a ligament there. Which ligament is on the first, the costal surface of the first rib? You would know that it's the costal clavicular ligament. And then we can move on some more. Before I touch these big structures, let's talk about the up here. So here, these little things here, they can ask sympathetic trunk, supreme intercostal vein, superior intercostal artery, and basically T1 nerve root. So you just probably just need to swat these off in the order that you get them. So if you know, as if they put four little pins, you know that it's a trunk, vein, artery, nerve. Trunk, T, vein. B, artery, A, and nerve. So that's T, V, 
A N T van. So you just know the order that these are placed in just in case they want to pin some things right there. So in the middle, there's this big muscle in the middle going coming from the posterior segment. Here, this is the scalaneus medius. So this is scalaneus medius right here in the center. So if you see, they put a pin and muscle and arch muscles in the center there. The center muscle is scalaneus medius. And around the front, here we have serratus anterior. Remember, serratus anterior has some attachment to the first rib. So we have the muscles attaching to the first ribs are first rib are the scalaneus medius in the center, serratus anterior at the edge, and subclavius at the costal surface. So it's not very hard to remember. And now let's talk about these structure here. So you can see this nerve root coming under this, and then you see this other big blue structure. So let's just read this. The subclavian artery and vein separated by the scalenous anterior on the scalene tubercle with T1 nerve root beneath the artery. So look, as I said before, remember we use that T van, the last one is the nerve, the nerve travels and come to travel under the subclavian artery. You can see that right there. And the next big structure here is the subclavian vein. So again, let's try to see. We have artery coming before the vein. I think of it as A comes before V. And from you think about that, you just know that the nerve comes under the one that comes first, which is the artery. All right, so I think those are the most important things on the first rib, the the, the nerve supplies and the arterial supplies and the veins. I think those are very important. And what separates them is scalaneus anterior. So that's a very important muscle. And the scalaneus anterior separates the two arches and veins. And basically, you can see it here, so on the scalaneus tubercle. So if they're giving you like one to say, ask which artery or vein this, look for this the scalaneus tubercle. So if you find the scalene tubercle, you know that closer to the anterior surface would have a vein and closer to the posterior surface would have an artery and a nerve running under it. So again, that's it for the first rib. We're just going to do a general review. So let's start with like uh, identifying the general structures. So here we have the costal surface. We have some grooves. We have the scalene tubercle. We have tubercle here, head, neck. So that's the general thing for the rib. Coming from the costal surface or the costal part, we have or the costal cartilage. We have the subclavius muscle, a ligament. We have the costal clavicular ligament. Uh, jump into the posterior, we have T van the trunk, the vein, artery, and nerve. Coming down, we have scalaneus medius muscle, big, big in the center. We have serratus anterior, which is a little bit anterior to that muscle. Then we have some big structures or vessels. We have the artery coming first, coming from posteriorly. The artery coming first and the T1 nerve root travel under the arteries. And these, these are separated by the scalene tubercle to get the subclavian vein. One last important thing. Right here, coming from posterior surface, we have the costa transverse ligament. So anterior ligament we have is the costa clavicular. Costa clavicular. Posteriorly, we have costal transverse. So they can use that to try to confuse you. But you guys got this and you know. C comes before a T. So C is anterior, clavicular for C. And transverse, costal transverse. T is at the back, way down in the out of it. So one last time, just locating all the things and then we're finished for today. So stay with me. 
costal cartilage, scaling tubercle, groove, some grooves, head, neck, tubercle. Then for location of the stuff now, at the front we have subclavius muscle, costal clavicular ligament. At the back we have T van, sympathetic trunk, supreme intercostal vein superior intercostal artery and nerve which is a t1 nerve root coming from the back we have the costal transverse ligament not costal clavicular costal transverse ligament close to the tubercle there in the center we have scalene medius muscle Above that, we have serratus anterior muscle, and the big blood vessels are the big vessels in the center, separated by the scalene tubercle R, subclavian artery, under the artery travel the T1 nerve root, and the scalene tubercle separated from the subclavian vein. And that's it for your first rib. And I hope you guys learn something and understand a little bit more about your first rib. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the DNN Medical Series. Also, follow us on Instagram at DN underscore Medical Series. Thank you for listening, guys. Bye!